So all these years, Dad told us what kind of a slut you were. Now I finally have proof. Bobby, listen to So me. wait, what happened? Did you leave your protection inside somebody else's hotel room? What? Or maybe you wanted to get knocked up. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you wanted to go off and start a, a life with the kid's real father. Eddie is Nate's real father. Nate is your full brother. Yours and James's. Huh? If you say so. I didn't want to leave you. Eddie threw me out. He called me that, what you just said, and worse things. But I was never unfaithful to him. Because the old man was such a lovable guy. Even if I wanted to cheat, the thought of what he would do to me. But once something got in his head, there was nothing I could do to convince him that the child I was carrying was his. And then before I even knew it, I'm being dragged across the room by my hair, kicked out the door, and when that door was closed, I could never see you and James again. So you didn't call the cops, the courts, I, anybody? I had a friend who knew a lawyer, and we had just filed the custody papers when I got a knock on the door in the middle of the night, and there was a picture of Nate with a six-inch butcher knife through it. So you dropped the suit. I was worried for my son. I was your son! Okay, and my father didn't have to put a knife through a picture of me to get to me. Don't you think I know that? I thought about you every day. I went to your school every day just so I could see you getting off the bus. James and his little red jacket that was a size too big and you and your yellow windbreaker. You know, I was there every day, no matter how cold it was, and I wanted to grab you and I wanted to take you and keep you warm. No. And you want a proof. What? We were our father's sons. I never thought that you... No. Why didn't, why didn't you come back for us? You didn't even give us a second thought. Not until James shows up with our father's money, and then all you can think about is revenge. Revenge? So you had your kid steal our cash. No. And you, you don't care about James just as long as you get even with Dad. You want payback. I want a family. You and James are my sons, and I love you just as much as I love Nate. Relax. Nate, finding that money had nothing to do with me. So you're telling me it was just a coincidence? Yes. He doesn't know about you and James. He doesn't know he has two brothers. Because he doesn't! Don't say that. It was your decision, not mine. You were a Nate away from us so bad. Lucky no. you, you got your wish. I never wanted that. As far as James knows, you don't exist. And if he ever finds out anything about either one of you, I'll know who to blame. Bobby, please, we're family. No. We're done here. You can push me away all you want. I'm not going anywhere this time. I gave up on you and James once. I won't ever do that again. <gasps> I can't tell Cole the truth about Eli. Not with Eli watching his every move, but... Talk to someone. No one understands. Unless there is someone. Who the hell is this? Yeah. Ford, it's me, Hannah O'Connor. Please, I need to talk to you. We have nothing to talk about. Yes, we do. You know exactly what we have to talk about. <laughs> thank you so much. Don't thank me, thank you, victim. And he further contact with Hannah O'Connor. She tries to call you again, just hang up the phone. Hang up. Yes, and then call me immediately. Now, I'm sorry, I have to go. Congratulations. Dad, that was amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. No big deal. See, I told you you had it in you. My good side? Yeah, and you can pretend that it doesn't exist all you want, but now we all know that it does. Mr. Manning. Thank you. Don't mention it. Look, I said that I owe you an apology, and I meant it. I'm sorry for everything. And I appreciate you giving me another chance. I'm gonna make sure that you don't regret it. Okay. Can I talk to you down here just a second? Excuse us. Um, 
I didn't give you another chance. <laughs> what? Yeah, just keep smiling. Um, I did this for my daughter and my granddaughter. Uh, and making them happy uh, gives you some kind of free ride that's fine with me. Nothing I can do about it. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. This for starting to hope to be happy. We'll see. But for now, you punk. You owe me. Okay? And I intend to collect. Hey. Not too shabby, Mr. Man. Mm -hmm. Told the judge what I actually think. Should try that more often. You could have been petty, gone after revenge. Yeah, that sounds better. Hey, I'm proud of you. Me too. I'm so happy that you're not going to prison. No, I can't believe it. And the thought of losing you and Hope. I didn't know how I was going to tell Hope that her daddy wasn't coming home. Uh, about what I told you before, everything um, with Hannah. Right. Are you still upset? Yes. But I'm trying to forget about it. You are. I am. I want us both to move on and just forget about that. Why are you calling me? You almost killed me! Marta, please, we need to talk. What the hell would I want to talk about with you? Elijah Clark. <laughs>